Welcome to the Rack Warehouse's Rack Video Shorts. Today, we'll take a look at the Thule Evo raised railing rack with wing bar load bars. This rack attaches to factory raised rails and is Thule's most aerodynamic, accessory friendly rack system. The wing bars are available in both silver and black, and the complete rack includes four Thule Evo feet, one pair of wing bars, a pair of wind diffuser strips, and four end caps. To begin, tear apart the wind diffuser strips by hand. These will fill in the open channels in the wing bars and will help reduce wind noise. First, insert the flat strip into the channel nearest to the center of the bar. Press down on one end of the strip so that it fits into this channel, and move down the bar as you insert the entire strip. Repeat the process with the arrowed strip in the remaining open channel. The two-strip channel allows you to easily install and remove accessories in the upper T-track without having to cut any plastic. Simply slide whichever accessory into the track and adjust it as needed. If there is excess plastic on one end of the bar, you can cut it with scissors. Next, turn over the bar and insert the measuring strips into the open tracks on both sides. Slide the strips inward until about half the strip is showing. These fill most of the gaps in the channel so that wind and drag noise is negated. They can also help set the correct placement of the feet based on your vehicle specifications. Proceed to insert the Evo feet into the tracks by aligning the metal piece with the opening. To complete the bar setup, attach the end caps to each side. It may take some force to be able to get the caps in place. The next step is to secure the feet to the raised rails. Begin by placing the front bar foot over the railing. It may take some adjusting to get the foot in a good position, with the lower lip underneath the rail. When in place, measure from the tip of the bar to the foot to ensure both sides are even. Next, tighten the central bolt until you hear several clicks on the tool. Repeat for the back bar, measuring the correct distance between bars for your vehicle. Once tightened, you can slide the measuring device inward so that it covers the open space in the track. To cover the space outside the foot, Insert some of the additional plastic strip provided and cut so that the plastic fills the open track evenly. The final step is to reattach the covers. Insert the top of the cover first and press down on the bottom so it sets in place. If using the plastic bolt, insert the bolt into the slot and turn clockwise with a screwdriver. If using a lock core, insert the lock core with the key in place, turn clockwise, and remove the key. It may take a second to align the lock core properly into the slot. One feature of the wing bar is the swing blade end cap that can be twisted open. This provides access to the upper T-track where accessories can be installed and removed. Thank you for watching the Thule Evo raised railing rack with wing bar load bars instructional video. The wing bars are the quietest, most aerodynamic Thule bar with strong loading power and a sleek design. They also come in four different lengths to accommodate your vehicle specifications. If you have any further questions, please visit us at www.rackwarehouse.com or call at 800-272-5362.